Yeah, let's meditate for a few minutes before the lesson. Close your eyes. Locate your breath. Usually we say to watch the breath, but that sometimes gives the wrong impression. Allow yourself to be bathed by the breath that comes in and surrounds you on all sides. The whole body breathes in, the whole body breathes out, and you're in the middle of all this. As for thoughts of the world, you can put them aside. We've come to a place that has physical seclusion. We're cut off from the world outside. But all too often we drag in all kinds of thoughts with us. It's just we bring all our little friends. So the Buddha says, first thing is try to be secluded from sensuality. In other words, thoughts about pleasures of sight, sounds, taste, tactile sensations, smells. And be secluded from unskillful mental qualities, anything that has to do with wrong view, wrong resolve. Put that aside too. Tell yourself you're going to be watching your mind. And if there's any conversation that goes on inside the mind, make a conversation about that. Is the mind staying with the breath? If it's not, what can you do to bring it back to the breath? If it is with the breath, what can you do to be really sensitive to the breathing? Because as Buddha said, one of the ways in which we shape our present experience is through the way we breathe. And we often do that unconsciously or subconsciously. And here we're trying to be conscious about it. And then all too often, when we're trying to be conscious of the breathing, we force the breath to be like our cartoon noted notions of what the breath should be like. So just allow yourself to see, what does it feel like as you breathe in? What does it feel like as you breathe out? Where does the energy move? Does it move well? If not, what can you do to think of it moving in a better direction? Can you release the tension, say, in your wrists, in your ankles, in the different joints of the body? So there's a sense that the energy flows freely throughout the body. You're, again, you're bathing yourself with the breath. This way it's just you and the breath. We're approaching what the Buddha calls mental seclusion. This is the kind that really matters. Because when you leave physical seclusion, you go back to the world. It's not necessary that you have to pick up all the issues of the world again. You can maintain the sense of you being here with the breath inside as you witness the world around you. Even as you engage in the world, the work you have to do, what other, other involvements you get involved with. But you can still have this awareness of the breath as your foundation. You can make it comfortable. You can bathe yourself with the breath even as you go through the day, as you work, as you rest. And this way you can have a sense of mental seclusion even when, when you're surrounded by lots of people. And that's what you should try to take with you as you leave. So work on it now. You've got the opportunity. We're here in this forest. surrounded by hills, cut off from the rest of the city. There's an ideal opportunity to focus in on your mind, get to know your mind as best you can. And that way you can have the skills to take with you that can help cushion the mind, protect the mind, watch over the mind wherever you go.